The parsha began with Moshe Rabbeinu davening to Hashem, v'schanin al Hashem, davening to enter Eretz Yisrael after he was punished and told he can't enter Eretz Yisrael. And we mentioned by Rishon that he davened 515 tefillahs, the gematria v'schanan. He davened over and over and over again. And Hashem said, Al Tosef, don't continue. You're not allowed to enter Eretz Yisrael. We're all taught that davening is so powerful and davening is so meaningful. And no prayer goes unanswered. So what happened to the tefillahs of Moshe Rabbeinu? He davened 515 tefillahs over and over and over again and said, Al Tosef, don't continue. You can't enter Eretz Yisrael. What happened to those tefillahs? Years and years later, we have the story of Purim. In the story of Purim, there was a gzeru, there was a t- decree that was nechtam, that was already sealed, the Chazal teach us, that were going to be destroyed. And comes Mordechai and Esther to bring Yeshua Bar Hashem. But what happened exactly? So there's a Pasuk in Parak Ches, Pasuk Gimel, in the Megillah, a famous Pasuk, it's turned into a song. And the Pasuk in the surface doesn't make any sense. The Pasuk says, Vatosef Esther. Esther continues. Now, if you read the first two psukim in the parak, that's Pasuk Gimel Perches. Esther wasn't speaking. So what does it mean, Vatosef Esther, Vatadaber Lefnei HaMelech? Esther continues to speak before the king. She wasn't speaking prior. That word Vatosef is very strange. It seems out of place. Vatadaber Lefnei HaMelech, she speaks before the king. And we know any time in the Megillah, it doesn't say Melech HaChashverosh. Melech is also an allusion to HaKadosh Baruch the Melech Malchem Lachem. So Esther continues and talks to Hashem, the Melech. And what does she say? First, Vatipal, Lifnei Raglov, she falls before his feet. We have to understand what's going on there. Vatif, can she cries? Vatischanen lo. And she pleads with him. Lavar esras Haman Agagi, to remove all the bad of Haman. Vatischanen lo. Remember, it's very similar to Eschanan. I heard years ago from a Ephraim Waxman, the most incredible Tyra. He says, you know what it means, Vatosef Esther? That Esther continued to speak? She wasn't speaking beforehand. HaKadosh Baruch Hu in our parash and parashas Veschanan, when Moshe Rabbeinu davens Veschanan al Hashem, 515 tefillahs. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Al Tosef, don't continue. Stop. You're not allowed into Eretz Yisrael. Hashem had his cheshbonos for reasons we could explain another time. Kadesh Baruch says, don't continue. So what happened to the tefillahs? Vatosif Esther. Esther continues. That's why it says Vatosif Esther. She took those 515 tefillahs and she continued them to the 516th. Which Hashem told Moshe, if you continue, I would have had to have answered your tefillahs. And it wasn't meant to be then. So Esther takes it and Davin's one more Vatosif Esther. Vatischanen lo. The same exact language of Eschanan. And she continues. Vatipal lifnei raglov. Vatipal, she falls in front on her feet. What? Lifnei raglov before his feet? What's Vatipal? Vatipal is exactly Gematria 516. Esther Davin, the 516, an allusion to the 516th Tvila. Vatos of Esther, she continued the 515. And she went to Vatipal to 516. lo. same language of Eschanan. And Kodesh Baruch Hu answers her Tvilas. And Kodesh Baruch Hu's bringing Ula and Yeshua to all of Klai Yisrael and saves all of Klai Yisrael that were already had the decree would be destroyed. You know what happened to Moshe Rabbeinu's Tfilis? They were saved for years and years later for his people to save Klai Yisrael, which Esther took, and she took them one next level of Atosef and saved Klai Yisrael. No Tfilah goes unanswered. We might not always know where it goes. Hashem knows better what's best for us and what's best for Klai Yisrael. We can't stop davening. Believe in the Koch Artfilas. Believe in HaKadosh Baruch listening to Artfilas and bringing about Yeshuas and Refuos and Geulos from all of our Hail Artfilas. Chevra was a schus to learn together this entire week. I'm just really blown away by this program, by each and every one of you that's learning with Shnaim Yomi and learning Shnaim Mikvech Targum. I know that there are times when it might be difficult, there are days that might be hard, but stick with it. It elevates each day. It elevates your Shabbos Kodesh. It elevates your life. Everyone should have a beautiful, hail good Shabbos Kodesh, full of simcha and full of bracha.